Okay. Yo, Bamp, are you excited for Mario Kart 10, 9, whatever they're going to call it? Freaking Nuff? Infinity? I don't know. Remember when Mario Kart came, 8 came out the first time? I was I still, remember. like... Was I still in high school? I might have still been in high school. And if I was, you definitely were, so... <laughs> <laughs> it was a long I'm time ago, bro. So, uh, how about we make a prediction list? Uh, you got your list ready, yeah. bro? Yeah, yeah, I got, uh, I got, uh, <laughs> so I got some, some cups. We're gonna bring our list together and come create, like, a an ultra list here. You know, I forgot to set this up, so... I, I think we're gonna have, we went with six cups just because I feel like that's a potential total of courses of retro courses. I mean, Mario Kart 8... Deluxe had 24 cup or cracks, right? That are retro. At least it had six cups yeah. at the bottom row. <laughs> and then they added like 12 more, so... <laughs> well, I guess most of those were... I mean, they're retros, but they weren't like specifically <laughs> retros. Like yeah. Stuff. But like some of the stuff at the top row in that DLC section were also retros. Like Yoshi Circuit's in the top row. Yeah. But anyways, so I'm gonna... Let's, I'll start with my shell cup, and then you're gonna weigh in with yours, and then we'll figure out from there. All right. True. So true. some of the uh, I'll bring up the rules that we're following. So in addition to the six cups, it's gonna be two tracks per game minimum, including tour, and we're bringing no courses from eight deluxe except the Mario Kart eight nitros and tour because. Basically every course is in tour, so it would be basically tour fucked if we did that rule for them. <laughs> that's <laughs> one course, that's not it. <laughs> and then one, at least one circuit, desert, beach, spooky level, snow, jungle, Bowser's Castle, and Rainbow Road. We, we go with both got that. I think that was going to happen almost always. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Alright, so gonna... I'll tell you my shell cup. So I'm, st I'm starting with Wii U Mario Kart Stadium. Ooh. I think that's a, I think that's a good place to start. I think it's probably the peak of first courses. I don't think they've ever made a first course better than that. I think it would be a great way to start this retro selection. And then, you know, keep, keeping it simple, nice and fun. Rather beach course. I'm bringing Koopa Troopa Beach. Mm -hmm. All right, Valid. and then I followed up with a classic, a spooky course, actually. Oh. It's spooky. Luigi's Mansion DS. Oh. Great little course that didn't make it into the booster course fest in Cooper Trooper Beach. And then I'm bringing the course that I was very upset actually didn't make it into the booster course pass, and that's uh, 3DS Shy Guy Bazaar. Oh my god. <laughs> I love Shy Guy Bazaar. I think it's one of the best That's... Mushroom Cup tracks of all time. That's a good one, man. It's yeah. a very unique course. Just a you know, good vibe. Bunch of Shy Guys. Love the music. Some good stuff. Uh, what, what are you coming uh, with, uh, bro? What are you coming at me with? I'll tell you that half of your Mushroom Cup is the same as mine. <laughs> <laughs> I love to see half of it. Half of it the same as that. Those are already in, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Those are pretty yeah. yeah. I'm gonna guess it's the last two, but go ahead. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, okay. Well, okay. Because you put you put Mario Kart Stadium, in yeah. the first one, which yeah, that's valid. Very good starting course. Now that I think about it, because I put Mario Circuit on GameCube Mario for that Circuit one. GameCube, gotcha. That one's also think Mario Kart Wii. That also Mario Kart Wii. Oh, it was Mario Kart Wii, right? I think. No, yeah, it's like a pretty good, like all usually all the Mario circuits are pretty good solid starting. They're like they're like track, decent, maybe. like they're not great courses in in a total, but it, when you look at first courses, you know it's a good way to kick things off. Yeah, which I think I think the GameCube one is a good one for that too. Yeah, got like the chain chomp, you got the. I will note that this was a right flower right. cup course in Double Dash, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> they did that in Mario Kart, uh, 
and eight they have like their own Mario circuit in the yeah. Mario Cup as well. I yeah, think. it's I didn't mention that one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have as I don't have praise to say to that one like I have for Mario Kart Stadium. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, so you know, it's you figure bring? eight. Yeah. So then, then I went with. It's like, oh, can you put an SNES course in this thing, right? Uh, you want to put like SNES other, course here? So what other SNES course than, like, you just run the Choco Island one? Choco Island yeah. one. I will tell you, I. I don't have Choco Island one on anywhere on my list, but it was there before. It used to oh. be there. Interesting. <laughs> so this was your second course, Choco Island 1. Right, this so, is my so second. Based one. on what you said, I can assume the next two courses are <laughs> Luigi's Mansion <laughs> and Shy Guy Bazaar. So, so let's, 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 let's just put them in already. Well, I think we agree that those are... Oh, no, no, no. It was, the, uh, it was Shy Guy Bazaar as the last one, oh, yeah. but I actually put a Koopa Troopa Beach instead. Oh, it was Koopa Troopa oh. Beach. Gotcha. Koopa Troopa Beach. In the okay, so I wonder if you have Luigi's Mansion later. So, uh, actually, I don't. Ooh, we'll that okay. right so, yeah. we'll uh, we'll discuss this now. So, so I have Koopa Troopa Beach, Shy Guy Bazaar. I think those are both great early courses. Koopa Troopa Beach is one of my favorite courses from '64. Just a nice vibe, easy course, but I love it. Has a nice shortcut too. Shy Guy Bazaar, I told you, this thing's like it's a super underrated. One of my favorite tracks from at least the early game. I mean, game of 3DS for sure. Yeah, and I think from there's. From the 3DS options that were available, because a lot of them are in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, I think this was probably the one I wanted the most. Right. Alright, so, yeah. what we think in between Mario Kart Stadium and Mario Circuit. So, for me, I like Mario Kart Stadium because I think it kind of has, it's a very complete course for a basic course. It has, like, the some twisty turns here or there. There's, there's like a this one part at the beginning where there's like an inner path and an outer path, and the inner path is obviously better, but if you're bad at the game, you can take the outer path, kind of ease your way in. Gives you some elevation, has like that one anti-grab turn, not sure if anti-grab will come back, but it is there. There's shortcuts everywhere, and then there's like a nice gliding section at the end too. With a little yeah. shortcut through the pipes, I think it's like a very complete course. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. It's pretty, yeah. If, if you want to go like more, more uh, like base, base starting level course, I would say maybe Stadium is a little bit better than Mario Circuit. Yeah, I um, think that's that's like okay. kind of the idea you're going for. And the Mario Circuit is just so big. Mario Circuit is a good solid little course there. I think it's uh, it's a decent. I think the circuits in Double Dash are all pretty decent at least so i'd be okay yeah. with bringing that i think luigi's mansion should be there <laughs> I do, yeah it's fine <laughs> i think luigi's I guess... mansion should be there i like the you just take a nice little trip to the mansion do that like twisty turns so the booze trying to come out of the paintings and then you go through the courtyard yeah. there's that little gliding section over the swamp with the funny trees yeah I would push more to have Luigi's Mansion than Mario Kart Stadium. Oh. True. So, uh... uh what are you thinking, bro? Hmm. Do you like me some mansion? Uh... Hmm. So, if, if, if you're choosing between Stadium and, and Mansion, then, uh... I'm assuming that means Mario Circuit is also maybe in there. I or could I could I could do Mario Circuit and Luigi's Mansion. I think that would be a good solid and realistic option. You also want to be realistic here. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be kind of it's kind of cool because then you have like you know Mar you have like a Mario track followed up immediately by a Luigi track. Gotcha. I. Uh, that being said, I don't think we should start with Mario Circuit because I think it's a bit more difficult than, say, Koopa Troopa Beach. So I think we'd start with Koopa Troopa Beach and then maybe put in Mario Circuit and then Luigi's Mansion. I think that would be a good progression yeah. here. 
Yeah. That'll be a good, fun little cup. Nothing crazy, but you know, it doesn't have to be. It's the shell cup. Alright, Beth, I'm gonna have you start the banana cup. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yes. The banana cup that I have picked. So let me tell you, what do you think of when you think of bananas? I you think know, of... I think of long of... objects. Yeah. You know, I think of... That'd be a lot. A nice, mushy substance that sometimes leaves a weird, weird aftertaste in your mouth, but, you know. It's not sometimes. Your mother. Yeah, sometimes. You gotta get the right <laughs> banana. Sometimes they're a little weird, right? Weird fruit. Well, yeah. Definitely the weirdest fruit. Very inconsistent <laughs> fruit. <laughs> but, you know, you look at other fruits and you look at the banana, you're you like, know. how are you related, man? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm guessing there's a, there's a bit of a monkey business going on in here. <laughs> starting, starting, yeah, we got, a little, we got a little monkey business going on in the first one, in which is DK Jungle Parkway. DK Jungle Parkway, N64. Yeah. Put that, put that right there. I will put it at the I front. I feel like I considering these two anymore. Yeah. For now, unless someone brings it back. <laughs> go back to it. But yeah, you know, like, because even I was thinking, like, you know, like, Mario Kart 8 did the same thing, because they had they had uh, DK Jungle from 3DS. That, that's and true. They did have that, and like DK Jungle Parkway. That was a special cup track in the game that it was debuted in, and then it moved on to the... It was the beginning of the special cup, and it was moved on to be the end of the banana cup of that game. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, true. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, just uh, start off with the monkey business for that one, for sure. Yes, sir. Then I was like, okay. So, like, yeah, you need... Yeah, there's circuit in here, I think. I, I would say like a, a they always bring... Thing. I did say only one is needed, but there's always two. Right? There's always at least two. There's, there's always two. There's, <laughs> there's like five in the booster course pass. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's actually... There's, there's, there's quite a few in there. <laughs> Mario Circuit. Another Mario Circuit 3. Times. Mario Circuit DS. Daisy Circuit. Toad Circuit. They couldn't stop. Maybe it was only four. Hyrule Circuit. <laughs> GBA <laughs> Mario Circuit. Royal Raceway. <laughs> don't know is that it is in fact Luigi Circuit from GBA. Ah, gotcha. Luigi Circuit GBA. That's a, that's a good little one. That one's actually that one's actually in Mario Kart Tour. It got oh, true, released true. It's not it was one of the later ones actually. Well like all these all these Plumber themed courses, man. Yeah, a lot of plumber themed courses. That's crazy. Yeah, you know, it's like uh, a yeah. like a very different aesthetic with like the rain and, the, and like going on. You know, like. No, you know, I, I agree. I think in GBA, this is by far the best of the circuits. I think this is a good, solid little circuit. One of the better ones in the series. You know, there's a lot of bad ones, but it's one of the better ones. Yeah, it's got it's, the it's rain, better. Got the puddles. Yeah. There's a really yeah, cool remake on CTGP. <laughs> oh, true. Gotta run that sometime. Yeah. <laughs> but then, so then, so then, is what happens after, so like a little, little theming I had with this one too, is like, have Luigi Circuit, all the rain and stuff, right? But then, so, then you go to the next one where the, the skies oh, open up. What you're saying. You know, there's a bunch of, bunch of sunshine I hope uh, in the sky. I hope I'm. I hope you're gonna say what I want you to say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the third one I put. Uh, I put Sunshine Airport. Okay, Sunshine Airport. That's a course that I really like. As a yeah, it was good. Good. Good vibes. Good atmosphere. Say it was my yeah. favorite course, like original Mario Kart Eight Wii U course. Yeah. Quite yeah. look like uh, a <laughs> bunch of a uh, bunch of time trial grinding for that one as well. <laughs> yep, definitely got That's that fun. one in. Love that course. Great fun, great music, just good vibes all around. Yeah, man. It's of a, a a great. Oh, well, you know, not a lot of people think it's great with you know Mario Sunshine, but 
There's a lot of, lot of jank in that game, but it has yeah. a good aesthetic. You know? Great aesthetic, for sure. And then, so then the last one, I was like, okay. We haven't gotten this course ever remade. Is, uh... <laughs> I mean, listen to the music that's playing right now. Are you gonna? Oh. <laughs> are you gonna? Is that what you're looking at? Is that what we're looking at? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So then, you know, the fourth one I put a, I put Toad's Factory. Okay, Toad's oh, Factory. Spoiler: This is on my one as well. <laughs> oh. Oh my God. Toad's Factory, an all-time classic. One of the best courses in Wii that's never been remade. Nope. Great music, unique aesthetic, and you know, good, pretty ambitious for a mushroom cup ish track. It's not too difficult, but it has some stuff that can get you. Which is why I yeah, think like that, that makes that, sense. Uh, yeah, like it's you know, a, little, a little bit of a step up. De definitely a closer yeah. for the easier courses, you know? Yeah. Uh, that's, uh, yeah that's, what I, that's what I was thinking. That's a solid little that's set funny. of courses you got there. So, you already know, basically what I said, I have one crossover with you already. But <laughs> I'll, I'll get to everything. So, my first course that I suggested is Vanilla Lake 2. Mm. So, we, we had to get some SNES courses in here, right? Yeah. I think Vanilla Lake yeah. 2 is... It, yeah, we also need a snow course. I think that's just like a weird little course. There's a lot of little cracks to fall into. Got some ice physics jank that's kind of weird, but the layout's kind of simple, so it wouldn't be too bad to race on. It was kind of awful in Super Nintendo, but I think with a remake in a game with a much more playable engine, it'll be perfectly fine. I also like the idea of remaking it, so it's kind of like Grumble Volcano, the ground kind of disappears over time. Or even like Rosalina's Ice World, you know how like the ice melts in that one part after the first lap? Oh, yeah, true. So I'd like yeah. something like that to be on this course if it was ever remade. And then my second yeah. course is a is a an, one of my favorite courses from the Nintendo DS. A nice, bright, another sunshiny course, if you will. <gasps> Delfino I Square. Oh Delfino oh. Square, of course. I think that one is a one of my favorites, bro. As far as city courses go, yeah, I don't know if this counts, but I like it, man. <laughs> it's got a lot of nice tight little turns, few alternate pathways. There's not one item box on the bridge you can try to get. There's that drawbridge that goes up and down. A lot of fun little right. things around. There's piantas everywhere. The pianta statue. Love to see it. Yeah, there's some good statue. shit, bro. There's some good stuff. And then my third course is, uh, like you, I decided there would be at least one more circuit in here. Right? So you said Luigi Circuit. And I actually had Luigi Circuit in my banana cup before. And I took it out for this course. Yeah. That is uh, Mario Raceway N64. <laughs> I think that's a good... I think it's, I think it's one of the better courses for... As far as circuits go, it's not that good, to be honest. They're not, none of them are that good, but, well, uh, there's one that I'd like, but that's not going to show up. That's in Booster Course Pass. No, it's in, after Royal Raceway, so it's in Mario Kart is what I mean. <laughs> but, you know, this one has a lot of tight little twisty little turns, some piranha plants on the side to just mess you up, that weird pipe part at the end that you can kind of trick off the side to. Hasn't been around since yeah. the Wii, unless you count Mario Kart Tour. So... I think yeah. that would be a fun one to bring back. True. And I like the music. I think the music is really good in that course, and I just kind of always I want know. that song back. <laughs> but, you know, we already have a Mario circuit. Like, the Mario's in the name. You know, maybe we don't need to bring... Maybe we should bring Luigi in here. We also don't have a GBA course yet. So, mm -hmm. I would be willing to put Luigi circuit there. I mean, let's throw in the obvious. We know Toad's Factory's in there. Because <laughs> that's my fourth course, of course. Yeah, you already know. Toad's Factory was my fourth course. It was one of the first things I put on this list. I knew it had to be there. 
<laughs> and so does Free Frizzle, back. so. <laughs> right, yeah, that guy's a big fan. Yep. And, uh, yeah, thanks, Luigi Circuit. I'm, I think I'm just going to put that in there, too. We don't have a GBA course yet, so I think Luigi Circuit, good, good, good choice here. Yep, yep, yep. So now it comes down uh, to two of these four. Uh, so, yeah. for me, I would like to put Vanilla Lake. One, because we don't have an SNES course yet. I don't want to save too many of them for the later cups. <laughs> yeah, that's you know? yeah. And two, well, I don't think there's a ton of better ice course. Well, there is one that I'm going to bring up later. I think there are much better jungle courses that I'm also going to bring up. The DK's Jungle Parkway, for me at least. I think DK Jungle Parkway is good, solid course. But I don't find it that memorable. Mostly because I think the music kind of is a little annoying, oh, actually. Yeah. It's, 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 th there's, like, no melody. <laughs> there's a guy that throws yeah, coconuts at you in the 64 version, but they took that out in the Wii, so. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. You're going, like, the grass. <laughs> it's, it's chucked it at you. There's that jump over the water that's kind of cool, though. It was more cool when it came out rather than now. <laughs> In the modern Mario Kart yeah. climate. Yeah. Yeah. You know. You know so. the, the drawbridge is always fun still. You got the little cave section. Yeah. It's not really a drawbridge. That's just a bridge. <laughs> That's just a bridge. <laughs> so, uh... I think... Yeah, I think we should take Vanilla Lake 2 on one of the two... Sunshiny courses. Mm -hmm. That's my suggestion. Yeah, I'll tell I you right now. Actually, but, uh... even though I said Sunshine Airport is my favorite of the Wii U courses, I don't actually have it in my list. Well, it's a, it a you know it's a tough crowd. There's a lot of Wii U courses. I just went with what I think is the most likely to show up, but I also like. You know. Yeah. What what's uh, your way? Yeah. I will I will say I put I put a Delf I put Delfino Square on my in one of my cups. Alright, uh, so I already have it I already have it like We could think in, about it the, later. One, we could think about it later. Or I mean you just we could all just put it now. Yeah. And maybe just, uh... uh I'm okay with vanilla lake Delfino Square. I think Delphi Square could... might be a little more fitting of the Banana Cup, too. It was already in a Banana Cup before, actually. <laughs> oh, yeah. But Lake like 2 has has only been in tour, so... I... Are yeah. we going to go with Vanilla Lake? I think that would be a good first course for this one. Yeah, we could Banana, yeah. yeah. I just don't want to show uh... up too much later, but... Or I mean, no, I rejected your one. And I, that means there's only, like, two left. <laughs> how's, uh, how's this look to you? Maybe we switch these two? Well, you said sunshine after the rain. I think that's, uh... Yeah. That's a good look, look at this DS <laughs> parody right. we have right now. Almost, I don't have too much left for DS, so... We'll see if we get more in. There's one, though. And you know what it's gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> I know what it is, and I also uh, put it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, let's move on to our bell cup here. The so bell cup is the one that I guess I just invented, and just because it had to come up with something, right? This is already in Mario Kart Eight, just somewhere else. So to start my bell cup, I'm bringing a jungle track, like I said. A a jungle track that I rate more than DK's Jungle Parkway. Donkey Kong not really involved here though. That's uh, GBA Lakeside Park. Ah. Uh, I think uh, of the yeah. two park courses in GBA, you know, Riverside Park, nice fun little course, but Lakeside Park, bro, yeah. that's that's the good shit, man. You know what? Great I will say. Of course. The uh, 
Yeah. I, I do also have it as my first one. <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all right, you know, we're locking in it already. <laughs> we're locking in it already. <laughs> Lakeside Park is already in, man. That's a nice and fun, kind of difficult in a few places course, but nothing too crazy. I also like how the volcano erupts in the third lap and the sky gets all dark. That's pretty mm -hmm. cool. Has yeah, a kind of even... mid-remake in Mario Kart Tour, though. Go ahead. Oh. No, yeah, because like I, I didn't really, because I didn't really play GBA, so I had to like kind of look this one up a bit. It's like, damn, this one kind of slaps. I didn't think, I didn't know how much it did slap, but it slaps. Have it you seen the Have you seen the ridiculous like... shortcut in this one? Oh yeah, bro, that's fucking. <laughs> we just, just like skip insane. so much of the course. Insane shortcut. <laughs> I didn't even think of that. I don't know. Uh, so, my second course in the, in the Bell Cup, I mean, it's got Bell in the title. <laughs> yeah, I think that only applies to one course, so there's no point hiding it. It's Wii U Super Bell Subway. Yep. Yep. One of the original DLC courses from the Wii U game. Where is it? Where is it at the end, right? Yeah, there it is. Uh, I just like this course a lot. You know? I think yeah. it's just, uh, I, I think it's, just, I, I don't know if everyone likes, but I just like, how, like, I like it more than most of the traffic courses, basically. I think it's my ideal traffic course, even though it's not even a traffic course. You're just driving on the subway tracks, and you never do that. It's like, it's like Calamari Desert, but you're always on the fucking train tracks. <laughs> <laughs> I like all the little bits of, like, details where you see, oh, this way, this goes to this course, this subway goes to this course you have the shops at the beginning and then, then the music changes you go into the underground area with all this graffiti on the wall super cool super fun the music bro the music goddamn bro <laughs> that one's got some trombone on that shit man <laughs> also can be kind of difficult too it's, it's the layout's not crazy but you know, the trains just being all around makes it pretty tricky. But you can also go up on the upper, upper area, and then you can trick off the trains. It's pretty cool. <clears throat> Alright, so my third course is uh, actually my second SNES course. So, so when I thought, look at the SNES course lineup, I was like, damn. I don't want these tracks. <laughs> but if I was to put another SNES course in. That will be another Bowser's Castle. Bowser's Castle 1. Oh. That's what I was thinking. I think 2 kind of sucks, and then 3 is in the booster course pass. So I think Bowser's Castle 1 is a good... I, I swore that I have another Bowser's Castle later, but I think this one fits as kind of a mid middle of the cups Bowser's Castle. Yeah, it's one of the easier yeah. ones. It's actually in the Mushroom Cup in Super Mario Kart, so... I think it would be a good spot uh, right here, in the middle of the bell cup. Yeah, more of like got, a, yeah, got more some of jumps. A... I think with the trick system, the jumps might be more fun. Oh yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, I mean the music. I, I mean I like Bowser's Castle, so I would yeah. say this is like a top yeah. three course in this game. And the rest of the top three is Bowser Castle 3 and SNES Rainbow Road, so. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, last, but not least in the Bell Cup, is a, you know those courses where you, you think about all your times playing sword fighting, you know? Mm. You ever, you, you think about this course whenever you're thinking about that dog on the beach that you play with with your frisbee. Oh yeah, yeah. You think about yeah. this course whenever you think about we yeah, bowling. Also, you know, yeah, yeah. There's a bowling alley in. in so we're bringing there. 3ds Maka Woohoo. Maka Woohoo. So there's two Woohoo Island courses. I went with Maka Woohoo because I like this one better. I like the sunset. I like the castle that you drive around. I like the glitch that lets you cheat the whole race that they had to patch out. <laughs> oh, <yeah. clears throat> I think it's a 
good court. I mean, Woohoo was like the first one lap track, right? It was the first of its kind. Yeah. And then Maka Woohoo was the second of its kind because it's just more Woohoo Island. You can't fit Same Woohoo game. Island to one lap, man. <laughs> it's just, you can't even fit into one course. You need to do it twice. But I don't think they're going to bring two back in one game, so I think Maka Woohoo is the is the pick I would go for. And that's how it would end the Bell Cup. You just finished halfway through the courses, at least in the retro section. I think this is a good ending to that. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Loop feels a bit more... You just, I feel like you're on the road a lot compared to Maka Uhu, where there's a bit more variety. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Does have the bridge though, so yeah, it has that going for it. <laughs> That's iconic. <laughs> We're gonna uh, <clears throat> in the plane, the plane mini game. You're going the yeah. around the whole map. Yeah. You're know, like in the bridge. Classic. Uh, but okay. Cause uh, you know that's 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 a pretty good bell cut, man. Thanks, man. I will man. say my yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a really good one. And I realize now that yeah, I I I have like Side Park is the first one here, you know that one. Yep. Uh, I have Super Bell Subway as well in this one, cause I feel like it's kind of warranted. <laughs> you know, Bell, play... Super Bell Subway. <laughs> <laughs> it does make sense. You know. I think we didn't put it. I don't in the know what it would be without. Though them. maybe later in the cup. I did. Yeah, I put it actually as the last one. I feel like it was a good one. Gotcha. I think like that's the last a, a good was... one to finish with too. Yeah. Right. It's a good. Uh, that's just how it was in the original Bell Cup. <clears throat> like, you know what? No. It Get wasn't. rid of it. It wasn't the last one of the original Bell Cup, was it? but Big Blue was the last oh. one of the original Bell Cup. Oh, you're right. It was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the third course in the Bell Cup. <laughs> It's almost the last one. Almost. Yeah, okay, okay. yeah, yeah. I remember now. Anyways, you know, just finish it off on this one. Um, and then my other two, <laughs> they're they're very, you know, oh, this is this is the cup that I said that I put Delfino Square on actually. All right, so Delfino Square is already been locked in into Banana Cup. Yeah, I put it I put in the Banana Cup. Well, it's okay. I, I can save Sunshine Airport for DLC, you know? For the Bell Cups, right? Yeah. <laughs> for the booster course <laughs> pass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's fine. We'll get it back someday. Yep. Uh, but then, so that was, that was my third one, the cup. But, like, so, you know, you have, like, a bell. You think of, like, you know, bells and whistles and, yeah. you know, gotcha. horns. Car horns. Oh yeah, car uh, horns. <laughs> car horns. And every, really, I'm just so like, out of you. I mean, the viewer doesn't know this. Ryan knows this. I am a very big fan of of car and traffic courses. Yeah, you do love car. Huge fan of car. <laughs> it's like how you like weaving in and out of the cars. You know, it's a good vibe. And this one specifically, I just think is is a pretty good one. If they if they have. They don't cut out any of the stuff that, like, let's say the DS one cut out. No, that, that I know what uh, you're gonna say then. <laughs> <laughs> I put, I put, I put mushroom bridge. As, as mushroom the second bridge, gotcha. Where's the mushroom bridge? What the fuck? Do you see this picture? I just noticed this now. Why is Toad there? Why is <laughs> Luigi there? <laughs> oh, that's the Mario Party I two should... model Toad. <laughs> Did they just like chuck him in? They just, just chucked chuck him in. in it's definitely that. just chucked in yeah. there. <laughs> Heck of it. That's crazy. <laughs> so I mean, someone has to be driving the bus. So Mushroom Bridge, you're saying Doesn't second, and then you probably have Delfina Square third, or maybe swapped. I don't know. Regardless, we're having Super Bell Subway no, I, here, yeah. for sure. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of worn today, I think. <laughs> Alright, so... Uh, and then we can think of Bowser's Castle, Maka Wuhu, Mushroom Bridge, and... That's it. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> and Nothing Square, Square, which we're doing. Nothing Square Square's already <laughs> locked in, so we're good. We're good on that front. How many courses of each do we have? We have one 3DS course already. We have one GameCube course. And we also have one SNES course still, too. 
the this would get us to two for each of those games. Uh, I think we should yeah. take Bowser's Castle one off the same thing I said earlier, which is that, which is that uh, I don't want to see SNES after this point. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And I think Bowser's Castle is about as good as it gets for Super Mario Kart, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. I guess you have one more SNES course somewhere later. Which might be another Bowser's you Castle. Have <laughs> is Bowser's Castle one or two? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you brought Vanilla Lake 1. Maybe like a Donut Plains. Maybe you bought Mario Circuit 4. <laughs> I don't think so. I will say we'll counterpoint see. to Mushroom Bridge is I don't have Mushroom Bridge on my list, but I do have something similar that'll show up soon. <laughs> you know? Mm. Bit of the, you know, the whole mm. weaving, uh, a bit of a weaving between the cars course that I'll bring up later. You know? If, if I think I know which one it is, too. Yeah. That's fine. That is cool as well. Yeah. So uh, we're it's, yeah. Willing to save that one for later, we could go with the Woohoo. I mean, you probably you might have a Woohoo Island later, too, so. And it might also be the other one. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mostly yeah, pushing for Bowser's can, Castle uh... so we could finish SNES forever. Yeah, I think it's valid. You know what? Yeah, let's run yeah, it. Okay. Like, let's put the put that castle. One there. I'll let you call the last one. <sighs> See, now that you put Makawu in there, it makes me, like, kind of want to put it in. Even Maka if I do. Makawu is pretty good. Makawu is pretty good. Mushroom Bridge <sighs> was, uh. Yeah. It's all right. The bridge is pretty funny when you go up the bridge and then usually fall down. But <laughs> the DS took about a lot of stuff. They took out that little thing at the beginning yeah. that was a guaranteed double item. I don't know what's up with the DS. Hates GameCube ports. They brought four of them and made them all worse. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe work. And they're also Maybe super they're overscaled worse. too. <laughs> Yeah, true. I guess it's a bit uh, weird. Like, uh, make your because I guess if we have a similar if you have a similar course anyway, maybe we can just also just run that. I do like Mushroom Bridge a lot, but I think I, I can I can succumb a a, a Maka Woohoo dub for this one. The Maka Woohoo is a is you know I give that one a Woohoo if I've ever seen that. Well, look at that! Look at that sunset, bro! A nice nice way to end this cup. Now, I'd love to see that okay. castle in HD, you know? I'd love to take the castle oh, shortcut fuck. in HD. Oh, on, true. on our Nintendo Switch 2, or whatever it's going to be called. <laughs> whatever. We don't, we don't work for Nintendo. We don't have parents or family members that work for Nintendo. We don't know what it's going to be called. Nope. Alright, so that'll lock in our bell cut. I think it's a good thing. It's a good cut, man. We got Two, we got one N64 course, two GameCube courses, no, is it one? We have one GameCube, two DS, two 3DS, two SNES, two GBA, and a Wii and a Wii U. I think that's a good, solid set. Mm -hmm. Alright, so now we're into the Leaf yeah. Cup, so you're gonna take us off here. Take me to All the right. Leaf Cup. Alright, alright. Uh, yeah, that's fine. As but, long as uh, they, this fine. this first one I actually put I put Mario Raceway. Oh, Mario Raceway. Yeah, right. <laughs> Which, uh, we had I actually put in Mario Raceway earlier. Raceway. Gotcha. All right. We had in contention earlier, so it is it is higher in contention. <laughs> uh, and then I went I went for the second one. I went for Dry Dry Ruins. Ooh, like, Dry Dry Ruins. Uh, one of my favorite courses. Yeah. It's actually my it's like second favorite course for Mario Kart Wii. Probably. 
Yeah. There's a lot of tech to that course that I, I didn't really know as a kid, but once you see like stuff like TD, TWD videos on yeah, shout out to why TWD he likes Dragon Race so much. <laughs> that's his favorite course in that yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. And that's his favorite game of all time, right? So. <laughs> yeah. They definitely had gave me like different different perspective on the course, which I really enjoy. It is a really good course. Whether you love it or not, I think most people consider it the the best desert courses, right? Every it's the desert course gets hated a lot, yeah, but not this one. Probably the best desert course. <laughs> this one's really good. There's this the in, the inside of that uh, was that temple or like the pyramid? Yeah, the, 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 the so dry, good. dry ruins temple area. Um, the ruins itself. Or it's like more <laughs> sand every time. It has the half pipe as well. Yeah, it's really good. Um. And yeah, and then and then I was like, okay, let's put uh, put the GameCube one now. All right. Uh, I actually put I put a uh, Dino Dino Jungle here. Ooh, Dino That's Dino the third one. Jungle. That would be right here. There we go. Got it. Like you know, I thought it'd be I thought it'd be good. You know, it's a jungle. Yeah. It's it got leaves. It's got leaves. It does have leaves. It does have leaves. <laughs> it has Noshi. I love Noshi. Yeah, it's, it's good. It does have Noshi, which we haven't seen so long outside of Mario Kart Tour. Tour or <laughs> Mario Kart Tour put Noshi in the in the remix ver or like the the trick variant of Tokyo Blur. This <laughs> like, Noshi's just there. Yeah. <laughs> Like, how'd you get here, man? <laughs> Where'd you come from? Man? Why are you Why are you standing over the I Tokyo Bridge? <laughs> <laughs> but you know, he's there. He's chilling. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty. I think it's a pretty solid court. I mean, it's a little. It's a little underrated, in my opinion. I like it. I like it. Um. Yeah. And then, and then, so this one, and then I kind of had to like. I feel like I had to head with a banger. It did. You know, like a banger. A big one, a big one, banger yeah. Wii U course, in fact. Well, okay. It's like, fuck, why not just fucking. Why don't we just end it with Mount Wario? Why not? Interesting. Why not? If I got Mount Wario in here. Mount Wario, probably like the most popular course I've ever seen. It's the most like loved course I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Everyone's... It is one of the more unique courses. Oh, I mean, unique. But... Whenever I see like a Mario Kart 8 ranking video, this is always at the top, you know? <laughs> it's not at the top, it's at least in it's, the top. It's... it's in there for a reason, man. I think it's like, it's like, it's really good. People you know, we got the, those one lap style courses course. with, uh, with Woohoo Island, and then the Woohoo course, and then we got the Rainbow Road 3DS, which is really cool. And here they just said. We're going to take yeah. you to the top of the mountain. You're going to race all the way down. And there's going to be all this kinds of sh crazy shit. You're on the yeah. top of the mountain. Then you're kind of in this like cave area. Then this shit, industrial thing. On, like you've gone the wall somehow. And then you go into that foresty area where you always <laughs> hit a tree. And you always get fucked by a tree every time. Right? Yeah. Especially 200 always CC, you always get fucked yeah. by a tree. It's like guaranteed. And then... Yeah. Uh, and then you got that nice, like, ski, like, ski, like, the ski, skiing, like, hill at the end, right? It's a very exhilarating ride. Yeah, nice, like, like, mogul, you know, like, oh, you know, like, in and out. It's so good. Well, I'll tell you right now, yeah. based on my Leaf Cup, we're already putting so, two yeah. courses in, because there's some crossover here. So I start my Leaf Cup with Dry Dry Ruins. <laughs> I thought Dry Dry Ruins would be a great way to start. Love this course. And it'll contrast a lot with my last course that I put in this cup. Which I'll get to. Alright, so the second course I have from my Leaf Cup is Mushroom City. Which is my mm. preferred of the game. That is the one I think. Tracks, uh, like car tracks, you know? Love Mushroom City. I was City. debating this one. I, I like yeah. how there's so many paths to go on this one. As far as like, the, like, the city courses, traffic courses go, I kind of like the city vibe of this one. It's similar to Moonview Highway. Of course, this one came first. But this one's kind of just in yeah. the city the whole yeah. time, whereas Moonview Highway are often 
the highway. <laughs> and you know, you got you got the wiggler wiggler thing that's always around. It's in the it's in the thumbnails right there. There, there. it is. You know what? It's, it's so it's also, funny. It's also Mushroom Bridge. It's everywhere, man. And you know, you you have that split path at the beginning. The real ones know that there's like a little path in between. The the split path. That's just the mm. fastest way to yeah. go. <laughs> yeah. So I also like how it kind of loops back on itself. So when you're coming towards the end, you actually come above the area you were before. This is cool visually. Oh, yeah. I like the idea if you could see the people driving below too. That would be really cool. Oh yeah, yeah. Me, me like check a check an item down there. Unsuspecting yeah. individual. You know, music jazzy as hell. Probably the like oh, one of the jazziest songs in Mario Kart. That is really yeah. Jazz jazz is rocks, man. And you know, imagine that with like a with like a real saxophone, right? Oh, Mario Kart eight or well yeah, yeah Mario imagine, Kart orchestra or band. Yeah, imagine like a fully orchestrated version of that. I don't think every song sounds better orchestrated. Yeah, you know, sometimes the, the the electronic beats sound pretty good. I think this one needs that, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. So the third course I have in this cup is a is a is a unique case. It's the only Switch original course I have in here. Switch quote unquote might be considered a tour course, and that's a squeaky clean sprint. Oh. Which uh, I think is a uh, one of my favorite courses of all time. <laughs> You're in a bathroom, man. You're in a fucking bathroom. <laughs> You're a tiny little guy in a bathroom. You go into a bathtub. There's a Goomba chilling there. You go into the you go into the the drain. You see the ring from Mario Odyssey there. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And then I, I love when you fly over the toilet. That's that's just so funny. And if you hit the <laughs> if you hit the the bidet spray, you get you get to like a shortcut basically. You have to hit that, and that's how you get to the upper area. You can technically get it without, but most of the time you're just gonna be getting it with that. Yeah, and, uh, it's, uh, just you know, in terms, of, you know, we always talk about the unique courses in Mario Kart. Yeah, you, know, you got your, you got your Sunshine Airports, your Waluigi pinballs. The, this is that, right? This is that to the max, I think. I think this is yeah. probably like the most <laughs> creative Mario Kart course, basically ever. Yeah, it's kind of funny too because like I remember the. The uh, the leaks for that one is like oh it's gonna be a bath course in this game yeah bathroom course yeah <laughs> oh you'll squeaky clean sprint yeah squeaky clean sprint all right uh-huh. so Bantha my my fourth course would you believe it is Mount Wario <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh so you know oh you already gosh. know what's happening right. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> the most beloved course of all time. It, I mean, it has to come back, right? If not, yeah. it's gonna be it's gonna be pushed in the DLC, the Booster Course Pass Two. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 gotta be there. You no, know, I like they had that one wave where they pushed Waluigi Pinball. Another wave where they pushed like. Uh, that was it. Maple Tree Way, and then another one for Wii Rainbow Road and 3DS Rainbow Road. That's gonna be that yep. one. It's gonna be that one that yep. everyone sees. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, f- for the other courses, uh, I think we probably do need a GameCube. We can only put one of them, right? <laughs> we can only put one yeah, of Dino Dino one. Jungle and Mushroom City right now. So I'm, I'll, I'll tell you right now, uh, I do have Dino Dino Jungle later. <laughs> <laughs> so consider yeah, it for did, later. Uh, but... <laughs> yeah, I did. I did succumb to a uh, to Mushroom Bridge L for this. For the, sorry, so I guess I Mushroom City got to make. We do got to get a, a traffic car <laughs> course in here. Yeah, one of those. So then it comes between Mario Raceway and Squeaky Clean Sprint. So I'll let you make the call here. Sheesh. Damn, this is like this is like lead cup, you know? It's like 
I put Mario Wasteway honestly because I didn't really know where else to put. <laughs> oh, you could put Squeaky <laughs> Clean Spread, <laughs> man. <laughs> I think it's yeah, like like Squeaky Clean Sprint. I don't know. It's almost like yeah. I was gonna say it's like too unique. It's like too unique. <laughs> I don't know. You know that doesn't really make any sense with the title. But yeah, they couldn't bring back Waluigi Pinball because it was too unique. <laughs> too unique. <laughs> This one's got a bit more, like, floating objects to, to deal with, but... I mean, I feel like the next Mario Kart game can handle that. <laughs> I mean, Mario Kart Tour could handle that. Because, <laughs> technically, you could say it's actually a tour course, so... Yeah, it is pretty much, like... I don't know what actually to consider it, so I'm just going with tour course for now, or switch course, but... I don't know what Nintendo will go with. <laughs> but I think we're leaning towards this. We're still closing with Mount Warrior, though. Yeah. Yeah. It's like... I think it's a good, it's a good cup. Yeah. Alright, so we're on to the Lightning Cup, which usually always one of the best cups. Unless you're playing Mario Kart DS, but... <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> uh, I got I got a pretty pretty cool lineup here. Actually, I think my leaf cup lineup might be better considering it's exactly what you see on screen. <laughs> so I thought I'd start with the first like definitely a tour course. The, the squeaky clean sprint maybe. This is one that's definitely a tour course. The ninja hideaway. Where is that? I've lost track of where it's supposed to be. <laughs> There it is. <laughs> you know, back to unique courses, bro. Nin Ninja Hideaway. <laughs> Wait. Bang. Yes, it's the Ninja course, bro. What's more to say? There's a lot of levels to it. A lot of verticality. Layout's kind of simple, but there's a lot of hazards that actually makes it kind of difficult. And then, uh... As for my next course, uh, we're bringing back Dino Dino Jungle. That's where you put it. That's where I put it. And then uh, I think uh, I think it's time we bring in an N64 course because we still need another Banshee Boardwalk. Which was kind of like a ghost, like a ghost valley, boo lake type course, but I think it's the best of its kind. It's a little simple, but I think with a remake, it would be really cool. And then uh, we're gonna end off with a banger. We're gonna end off with one of the best courses of all time, and that's DS Airship Fortress. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I knew I know you won that one. <laughs> I know you've got it somewhere. I know you've got it somewhere. <laughs> uh, there's just so much so much goodness to Airship Fortress, bro. I did actually I did put it in the lightning cup. So I did see, so it's, dude, that one's definitely getting so, it. Well, I don't know it's somewhere in there. That one's a kinship. Alright, for the what what you got, bro? Yeah, so my lightning cup is kind of crazy. That's it's the, a little the, insane. Yeah. Air Fortress you know? is in there. <laughs> it is in there. <laughs> That's the last course, though. Last one. I want to end with a banger. Yeah. Uh, and so it's, 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 it's crazy because I started this one. With Vanilla Lakewood. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't think we're bringing that one. I'm just going to tell you right now. No, <laughs> we, we already have Vanilla Lake 2, so... <laughs> and then bring Vanilla Lake 1 no. later sounds insane. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way. <laughs> like, I, already, I already knew, yeah, when you put Vanilla Lake 2 earlier, it's, this thing's out of here. Yeah. And I'm, I'm fine with it again. It's, it's, we, we got a vanilla lake, and that's good enough. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, and then, but then, I went with 3DS Wario Shipyard. Ooh, Wario That's the Shipyard. second one. One that I considered, but I actually didn't end up taking. I felt like it would be a good one. Yeah, because that one also hasn't been, wasn't remade in, in 8. I don't think it was remade in Tour. It was remade in Tour. Actually, every course in Mario Kart 7 is in Mario Kart Tour, so. Oh, true, true, true. Yeah. I was like, yeah, you know what? Just, just, just run it back. It's a pretty. I think it's a little underrated. Yeah, definitely underrated. Yeah. Yeah. I think a lot of Mario Kart Seven courses are so. <laughs> very mm-hmm. underwater heavy. A lot of people don't I like the underwater, but I like it so. Yeah. It's yeah, it, and yeah, I mean, it's a little weird that Wario specifically has like a shipyard. Now, we got. I don't know where you got the ships from, yeah. but uh, what do you do with them? <laughs> but you know, it's, it's it's a pretty it's a pretty good course, I think. With a yeah. lot of, I didn't have a 3 ds so I, I had to look at gameplay for it. I was like, oh shit, it's not too bad. Good one. Uh, and then, so maybe I think mine's a little it's a little insane because I kind of went for like a bit of like a, a bit of like an air, like an. Uh, like an air ending, like kind of like in the air ending. And so that uh, the third one is Cloud Top Cruise. Ooh, Cloud Top this Cruise, one? another favorite of mine. I felt like it was in. Well, it wasn't in, but like, you know, it was like. It's very, you know, it's very interesting, course, in, in Wii U. Yeah. It does have literally lightning in it. So I was like, oh shit. It does. Gotta add this one. Lots of crazy lightning strikes in that one. <laughs> I was just like, yeah, this is, you know, you're, on like, you're on like a beanstalk. And it's like you're just flying through the sky. And like, you go to like a ship. Yeah. The clouds. I think it's like it's a pretty banging course too. You know, they just put in the, put in the, the landing cup. Uh, and, then, and then it ended off with your ship fortress. And that's it. So what I will say is that I think Ninja Hideaway has to make it because we don't have a single tour course yet. Unless we count Squeaky Clean Sprint as one. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little weird. Yeah, I could put it in. I think that'll be a good start. Yeah. Then, because we have to put two, that means it has to be one of the Spidey Cup as well. <laughs> and then, I'm okay with whatever else here. I think yeah. we have two of basically everything except N64, which if you have something for the Spiny Cup, we could save it for that. Uh, I will say I did have, I have, uh, I mean, I don't know if I want to spoil I, I put I put Banshee Board one later. <laughs> okay, okay, so we could probably probably leave Banshee Boardwalk for another time, and we'll just go with your t- two. Well, we could, it's Dino Dino Jungle is also. I'll let you pick which ones you want here, because I, I already made my suggestion. Vanilla Lake not an option. Take it away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Dino Dino Jungle. Which I originally had it anyway before, but you know, I think it's just um, yeah. <clears throat> Wario Shipyard, like it's a, I think compared to like when you kind of like look at both of these ones, like Dino Dino Jungle is definitely more interesting looking. It's yeah. more of like a vibe, you know. You got Noshi, so you got Noshi in there. It's kind of all you need, I think. We're bringing the Noshi back. I think it's a Noshi gaming option. Alright, so now it's between Shipyard and Cloudtop Cruise. Which I, I'm i leaning towards Cloudtop Cruise because I think it fits the, the cup more as well. Yeah. But... There's a little airship action in there too. There's a little airship action, which is kind of like maybe why, because we already have Airship Fortress in there. Is that maybe like a bit too much air action? Mm, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. And yeah, you know, as long as you're not putting like Cloud Top Cruise with Sky Garden in the same cup, that would be too much. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I think, I think, that, I think that works. Cloud Top Cruise, great course. Just uh, one of my one one of the best in Wii U, I think. 
Yeah, right? It's like, you gotta bring it back. It's got yeah, a good back. Wii U's got a great line of courses, you know? Yeah. Alright, yeah. so... It's hard. Uh, it's time for you to kick off your spiny cup. Yeah. Alright. Sounds good. Because I think, well, I feel good. like... I think the spiny cup for both of us is where we have our our respective... Or, I mean, you already put a Bowser's Castle, but like a Bowser's Castle into Rainbow Road kind of yeah. ending to it. Our, 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 our good Bowser's Castle and Rainbow Road. I mean, Bowser's Castle one's good, but like good for an early game course. Good for an early game course, yeah. At least lava level. <laughs> uh, and, uh, yeah, so, I mean, I'll save that for later, but I started off, I actually started off with... Uh, Maybe we have a bunch of Wii U picks, but I put yeah. a I put Dragon Driftway as the first one. Ooh, Dragon one. Driftway. Of course, not not too many people talk about, it, but I feel like it's a really good one. Right, and it's like maybe maybe has a bit of a harder chance coming back just because maybe not anti gravity may not come back. Yeah, but then you can also just like require that. I mean, that's basically all the Wii U courses, right? That is like a lot of them, yeah. They always just change it up. Maybe. How are you going to be on the Mount Wario wall? <laughs> <laughs> on the wall, you know. Uh, but yeah, I put that one in there. I put it, And then I put Banshee Boardwalk second. Uh, Banshee Boardwalk, which we saw earlier. Yeah. And it's I, felt like it was... I feel like it was... I feel like it's due for a, like a, a good remake. Yeah, it's give like a really like creepy atmosphere to it. I like, think it's the creepiest Mario Kart course. With the yeah. music and the vibe, I think it's the creepiest one. Yeah. Like the the lights, like this kind of this, the lamp post. I think there's some crazy shit with the lighting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's and they have yeah, like the giant the giant cheap cheap that comes at you and you're like that. that oh lower, yeah, let's see that. The low, lowers the lowers the the spook meter when you see that guy. <laughs> <laughs> like don't look cheap cheap. <laughs> Trying cheap cheap that. <laughs> Trying cheap cheap alert. Popping over your ass. Yeah. Uh. Okay. So those two. That's like the first half, and then we're at the meaty second half, in which, I is I was I was kind of struggling. Yeah. They're easy to struggle on these two. <laughs> yeah, like what do you what, what do you put? You put like what? You put GameCube Bowser's Castle. You put S Bowser's Castle. Wii Bowser's Castle. GBA Bowser's Maybe. Castle one, two, or four, or three. <laughs> well, I said one, two, but any of them work. <laughs> yeah, but I with, with with my heart and soul, and my DS nostalgia, I put nostalgia. DS Bowser's Castle in here. I expect at least one of these to be for the DS. Right. Got the spinning bridge. Classic. Classic spinning bridge. Classic spinning bridge. If you when you when you're in in, uh, in elementary school, you lived on that bridge. You were like high up in the in the. For... Yeah. You know that's like when you were you did that as a kid. That was like skill. Yeah, and you know when you push someone off the spinning bridge and they have to go through the loser path? <laughs> it sucks to lose, man. That's what I say. <laughs> Alright, give me your oh, Rainbow yeah. Road. And then my Rainbow Road. I didn't, I mean, obviously I couldn't put DS Rainbow. I thought about it, but I, I, I didn't put it. Um, I think it's the right I, just I don't it. think that one's that good, personally. Yeah, it's it's like a Castle, solid. definitely better Rainbow. from DS. Yeah. Yeah, I actually put a. We haven't seen the GameCube one in a while. I put the GameCube one here. Rainbow Road Double Dash. A deal with Double Dash. He's a good pick. A difficult one. Yeah, a lot I feel of people like, don't yeah. like this one because they think it's too hard. <laughs> yeah. Me, it's not like... love that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like, you know, maybe you need, you need a nice challenge for like the last spiny shell cup. Yeah. So with newer mechanics, it'll probably be easier. So. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Great, great music, great visuals. Yeah. 
Got that one which like is... trampoline launch, which I guess we also has, but this one did it first. <laughs> oh yeah, because have like a launching section. Yeah. Sometimes like the shooting star lands on the course, and you can get it, and you can use a star from there. Oh yeah. Fuck, I forgot about that. Alright, uh, let me tell you mine. So. Run it, run it by me, Ben. Give it to me straight. So Mario Kart Tour has a has a course, right? This is the course that yeah. that uh. Is the only one that didn't make it to the booster course pass. <laughs> uh, it's the only one. I see. And I think it would be hard done by to not make it in again. <laughs> and that's the Piranha Plant Pipeline. Interesting. So interesting. This course is kind of cool because it's just, uh, I mean, you're just in a pipe the whole time. Sometimes you switch between like these two sets, like two pipes that you go into either or at one point, and they kind of crisscross a bunch. There's parts where you can ride the water to go faster, and there's also parts where the water comes against you, actually. It makes you a bit slower, so you have to be on the sides. I think uh, I think it's unique, actually. And there's a bunch, bunch of piranha plants everywhere. There's a couple half pipes, some good visuals in there. And, you know, I just kind of feel bad for this one. <laughs> Because Man. when Mario Kart Tour does die, this course is gone. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's very unfortunate. I never actually played it. I don't really know too much about it, to be honest. But... It's hard to find because it's, uh, it, uh, it only showed up for one tour. <laughs> yeah. yeah, not too much exposure. But... I've played it more on Mario Kart Wii Custom Tracks than any other way. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. So uh, after that, uh, my second course was actually Cloud Top Cruise. Uh, so uh, I think uh, I think I think that one's passed. We've already put Cloud Top Cruise there. Yeah. Somewhere else. And then my so my Bowser's Castle pick, which I racked my brain around a lot. I uh, I think there were four different courses that showed up in this spot. That were all named yeah. Bowser's Castle. <laughs> Bit of a bit of a roundabout. It's a tough one, bro. And that's the GameCube yeah. Bowser's Castle that I went with. Interesting. And you know that's the true. reason I I think GameCube Bowser's Castle is actually my favorite of all time. But the reason I struggled with it is because I also kind of wanted GameCube Rainbow Road. <laughs> ah. <laughs> so I had to figure out which combination I wanted. And I went ultimately. I thought. I think there's other good Rainbow Road options and other good Bowser's Castle options, but I think I think this one is my favorite Bowser's Castle. Whereas I don't think my favorite Rainbow Road is even an option here because it's already in Booster Course Pass. Ah, yeah, yeah. As for my uh, Rainbow Road pick, I have GBA Rainbow Road. Interesting. But you know, we had the Mario Kart Seven. We had SNES Rainbow Road. Mario Kart 8, we had N64 Rainbow Road in, at the end. So I thought the next one, GBA Rainbow Road. I'd like to see what they could do if they keep the jumps everywhere, because the sides are all just, like, ramps, and you can just fly everywhere in this place. Oh, true. They definitely would nerf it, because you do insane shit in this course in the original. It's, like, shortcut central everywhere. So it's probably high. make it lamer, but, uh, you know, we'll see. I'd like to see what they did. There's a Paper Mario reference in this course, so it's peak. <laughs> oh. Yeah, any references are, are always welcome. Yeah, that's so funny. interesting. Okay. Uh, yeah. So me, okay. I see. So yeah, I, I think. Just in time with this. Don't think I really <laughs> think. Okay, so. We only have one N64 course on this list. Mm. So I think by default Banshee Warlock has to be here. Yeah. <laughs> we also, unless we count Squeaky Clean Sprint as a tour course, there is also only one tour course. Oh, true. Yeah. I think that's fair, yeah. We put both of those in there. And then I think I'll leave the last couple. Of I think otherwise we're uh, 
we're looking pretty good as far as the variety goes. We already have two GBA, two SNES. We got plenty of GameCube already. We have three of those, plenty of DS. So we can go with whatever. We have enough 3DS as well. Yeah. So I think I'll let you just make the call on the Rainbow Road and the Bowser's Castle. <laughs> yeah, it's just, yeah, we just, I think we just gotta, it's picking, it just depends on which, which game, which double dash course we, we want to go with here. I'm okay with either or, so. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, I think, because like with what you said with, with, with GBA Rainbow Road, that there's a likely possibility that they could dumb it down, make it not as insane. Yeah. That's a little sad. That is a little sad. So, you know, maybe with that in mind, I don't know if, well, I don't know if they're going to do the shooting star thing <laughs> from Double Dash Rainbow <laughs> Road. But, you know, I don't really see... I don't really Easier see to implement, really at least, so... Yeah. You know, it's not too hard. But I think with that, maybe we maybe we go with the GameCube Rainbow Road. Alright, so that would I make think. it... DS Bowser's Castle like and GameCube Rainbow Road. We actually have a lot of GameCube and through DS courses here. Which matches yeah. our nostalgia quite a bit. <laughs> so. I think it's a, lot, a, lot a of good, things. solid little selection. I did think about GBA Bowser's Castle 4 for a bit there. Because I think yeah. that's a really good one. And the remake and tour is really good, and I think it's kind of a waste to be stuck just in tour. <laughs> Much like that we're one... on a plant pipeline, but <laughs> yeah, I think that one that one would be a, I feel like even like a I haven't played it, but yeah, like tour dying. I think gonna, you gotta... out, out of respect, you gotta put that one in. <laughs> so good good set of courses, bro. If I Good can't wait for them to put Donut Plains one and and uh, Choco Island two in the game <laughs> instead. Good discussion, bro. Wait, I didn't bring any of the crossover tracks. I feel like that's a DLC exclusive. They're like, oh, the Zelda track is here, but only as DLC. Yeah, I mean, those those should stay in Wii U for Lux.